Raise your hand and we will get a mic to you. We'll start with Ben. Tim, how would you assess the offseason that Gary on Carter had, especially coming off the injury? And what are your expectations for him as you enter ball camp? Well, Ben, we're really excited about AC. Um, he's had a really good camp. When I say camp, you know, in terms of the strength and conditioning, you know, and obviously some things that we're allowed to do. Uh, the biggest thing that I'm really excited about, for being honest, is just his growth mentally. You know, he's always been a really good athlete. Um, but he's worked really hard to, you know, help the game slow down, so to speak. So, um, you know, he'll obviously have a big role, you know, obviously coming out of camp, we decide exactly what that is, but uh, we're really excited about, you know, we showed enough last year as a freshman um, to get us going and, you know, obviously missing spring, but just picking up after spring in terms of the fall, you know, I think we'll be ready to go. Rick up front. Now that you've gotten to spend a couple months with him, just what's your impression on William Inge and what is he going to bring that linebackers union? Yeah, Coach Ange is just a great guy. You know, I knew he was a really good football coach. You know, I had a chance to coach against him. I met some other different places, and I love the way his linebackers work. So um, he has not disappointed, you know, in terms of how he teaches, um, the way the kids have gravitated to him. You know, it's kind of what I expected. I think the biggest thing, though, that I really, I really enjoy is just the way he uh, mentors the kids. You know, he's just a really good guy. You know, I think our guys are really um, taking to him, and you know, I'm really excited to see what the product looks like this season. But you know, the spring and, and uh, um, early early side of um, the summer is any indicator, you know, I think those linebackers will be ready to go because of his leadership. Eric Benelli. What are those two guys in the secondary, Jerome McCoy and Toby Thomas, um, some of the others kind of brought to that group that's obviously turning over a lot of playing experience? Yeah, um, I gotta start with McCoy. You know, he had a really good spring. You know, I think again, some of the early summer um, feedback that I've gotten, you know, he's really done a great job. Um, you know, he's not the most vocal guy, you know, he's working toward it. Um, so I'm excited about him. Um, I think um, McMurray, you know, is another corner, you know, who transferred in. I think he's done a good job. Um, he's really um, a smart kid. You know, he played inside a little bit at Temple. And, um, you know, he, I know he has the ability to do that a little bit for us as well if we need to. So um, from a corner perspective, super excited about those guys. Um, Jacoby, Jacoby Thomas, you know, again, you know, he's kind of that, you know, bigger presence, you know, that we're looking for, you know, very physical, you know, we showed that in the spring. Um, I think as the game starts to slow down for him a little bit with our playbook, I think we'll be able to see some of the athleticism that we saw him take in Middle Tennessee. So um, we're excited about all those guys. You know, we think we have a really good um, group of talent, you know, based on some of the younger guys and some of the transfers that we brought in. So I'm super excited to watch these guys work in camp. And, um, you know, I think these guys got a chance to be really good for us. Nelly then Noah. Coach, best thing you've done while you've had some downtime recently? Oh, wow. Um, I don't know, my wife might say I hadn't been any downtime, but um, we, we had a chance to go to Puerto Rico. You know, we enjoyed that. My cousin was renewing her vow, so um, that was good. You know, you try to, you know, spend quality time with your family when you can, you know, but to be honest with you, you know, football is never too far away, so, you know, it was a lot of film watching, um, a lot of preparation behind the scenes, but, you know, we did enjoy Puerto Rico. No, I appreciate you asking that. I think nobody else cares about that type of stuff. So thank you. <laughs> no. uh, Coach, uh, right here. Uh, Coach, I was just here talking about maturity. You say that kind of the most mature group of, of newcomers he's had. You mentioned the, the transfers there, obviously, but I got off Boo Carter. Have you seen that him as well since he arrived? Yeah, Boo was great energy all the time. You know, he's a guy that um, was always 100 miles an hour. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think as he continues to, you know, you know, grow in our program, I think he'll be continuing to continue to get a little bit more mature. Um, we definitely like, you know, when he brings from a football perspective, you know, he's a kid that, that works hard, wants to be well, wants to do well. So, um, yeah, he's shown some maturity, you know, but I think you'll see even more, you know, once he gets, gets his feet wet a little bit. Casey, then Frank. Coach, back here. Uh, you talk kind of specifically about the secondary, those newcomers. Just what excites you though the most about having a young group that you can kind of sculpt? Yeah, you know, that's a great question. I think just the overall talent, you know, I know we can run, you know, we have some guys that can pick them up and put them down. So, you know, I think the overall speed that we have in that room is exciting. Um, I think anytime you get a chance to develop, you know, we're coaches, you know, teachers first. So, you know, it's always great to be able to put your hands on and watch those guys develop and grow. So, I think that's what I'm most excited about to watch these kids, you know, reach their full potential. And um, I think we have some toys and guys that we can work with, and I think we'll see that this season. Your coach. Yeah. Uh, how would you describe the way James Pierce impacts the game, and you know how much confidence does it give you knowing you've got him up there? 
Yeah, you know, I, I think James, you know, he made great strides from his freshman to his sophomore year, and I expect him to make even better strides this year. Um, but anytime you got a, you know, a guy on the edge that, that can affect the game the way he does, um, he has a really good first step. You know, he's put on good weight. He's got stronger. So, you know, I, I tell the defense this in general. You know, we're always trying to create one on ones when we can. And, you know, it's their job to win the one on ones. And, you know, I know that James will have the ability to win the one on one, which obviously gives us great confidence as a defensive staff. So, um, you know, I think the size is limited for him. You know, he's, he's super smart. You know, he works at it. You know, we're expecting him to have a really good year. Patrick, then Dave up front. Coach, one of your new guys at the store, Ross, at that same position, seeing him over the summer, what, what were your initial impressions of him and your program and maybe where your expectations were going to be? Yeah, we're, we're super excited about um, Jordan. You know, the, the biggest thing, I'm to be honest with you, just his size. You know, you, you see those guys, you know, during the recruiting process. And, you know, I think our strength, I think our strength program has done a tremendous job of getting them stronger, you know, getting them leaner. So, you know, I just love his size. You know, he's a kid, he doesn't say a ton. You know, but it's nothing to walk through the um, through our football building and see him somewhere watching tape. So I know he's a kid who wants to be great. You know, and his work ethic aligns with that. So uh, we're excited for him. You know, I think again, you know, as he continues to um, power through the playbook and, and, and take what he's learning from the playbook and apply it on the field. You know, I think he has a chance to be able to impact this program and help us in some way. What are your, uh, what are your thoughts on Jackson? To, to this point in the offseason he's had and how, how ready he might be. Yeah, you know, Jackson is another, you know, transfer that he got. And um, I, I tell you, the thing that I like about I like about Boy is just his um, his versatility. You know, he's big enough to be able to play the nose for us, but he has enough twitch, you know, to be able to play the three technique for us. So a uh, really smart kid, you know, football is extremely important to him. You know, our, our defensive line is extremely deep. Um, and I think he's going to be a guy that's going to put himself in a position to be able to help us this season as well. Going to coach's left, Rob and Eric. Coach, just personal loss and depth loss. You guys obviously come a long way since you first got here, but specifically on the defensive front, can you, can you address just you know, how much better and deeper you guys are there? Is, how much of a luxury that is this league? Yeah, I mean, it's everything. You know, if you check my track record, you know, we've always tried to build it from the front to the back. Um, Tennessee is no different. So, uh, no, it's exciting, you know, because as you mentioned earlier, you know, we did not have that luxury when we first got here in terms of our depth. But we've been very um, deliberate, you know, in our approach in terms of recruiting, you know, to make sure that we got enough big guys up front. I mean, it's still a, uh, a big guy lead. You know, you got to have guys up front that can help you stop the run, but you also have to be athletic enough to be able to come off the edges. So uh, we have a lot of guys that, you know, if, if they continue to do what we think they can do, they'll fight for playing time. And that's definitely a luxury, not in just league, but, you know, any league. So I'm super excited for those guys. I love the talent. I love the depth. I um, just can't wait to watch them perform this season. Uh, Eric, 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 Eric yeah. when, you're, uh, when you're evaluating the star position, what do you look for from a player who plays that spot? Is there a preference for you? Is that safety or a corner? Or is that even higher? No, that's another great question. You know, different places I've been, sometimes it's been more corner-ish. You know, some places it's been more hybrid. You know, I think we've had the luxury here to do a little bit of both. Um, but that position is extremely important. You know, we ask them to do a lot, you know, from a coverage perspective. Um, but they have to also be great blitzers. You know, they have to be able to get off blocks. Um, so, you know, we really worked hard, you know, between, you know, JT. Um, you, you talk about Christian Harrison and obviously Boo Carter. But if I'm being honest, we worked everybody a little bit in that position because it's super important. Um, we lost two within a span of a week, you know, a year ago. And, you know, we don't ever want to be in that situation again. But, you know, those three guys I mentioned are, are very are very versatile in our defense. You know, they're, they're good athletes. You know, they're tough guys. Um, they also obviously have some coverability. So, um, but, yeah, I mean, it's probably one of the more challenging positions on our defense. And uh, super excited about the three guys I just mentioned. To the back, Paige, Reese, and Emily. Okay, thank you. Um, Coach, Jeremiah, as you lingered, you obviously saw a lot more playing time or increased level of playing time. Yeah, you know, you can see the confidence all over his play. You know, he's always been a smart kid. He's always been a work hard kid. Um, but we saw him make a lot of plays in the open field last year. And, you know, playing our defense, you know, you're going to be in those situations. And, you know, he did a really good job of making plays. He needs to make this spring. So, you know, I've always been a fan of him. You know, he's a coach's kid, you know, super smart, works at it. So um, I'm really anxious to see, you know, how he picks up where he left off in the spring um, and takes it and, and puts it toward the small game. So, um, so he has a chance to make up his defense and impact it in a positive way. Coach, back here in the back. Uh, can you 
Mr. McKeeley, how much has his injury lingered, if at all, and uh, how much does he understand more than does he understand your scheme in the second year? Yeah, no, KP is really smart. You know, he's played a lot of football. You know, he's a tough kid, and I'm pretty sure he's healthy at this point. And if he wasn't, he wouldn't tell us. So um, he, he's a kid that's, you know, always trying to do things the right way. You know, he's worked on being more vocal. Um, you know, I told him, you know, everybody respects him. You know, he's a hard worker. You know, it was, it was tragic to miss him last year, but, you know, he worked really hard on the screen. You know, had a lot of great tackle opportunities, which is awesome for us. So, um, you know, I know our, our trainers would have put him out there if he wasn't healthy, and, you know, he's been out there a ton. So, um, we're excited about him. You know, like I said, a great leader. You know, and for a big guy, you know, as I mentioned earlier, you have to be able to play in space in our defense. And, um, you know, he's shown that he can make plays in space. And, you know, we always, we always knew he's the quarterback in defense. So, um, we're anxious to see him as well. Yeah. You mentioned Jalen Murray a little bit earlier, obviously coming from Temple, a smaller D1 school. But it seems like his work ethic really matches with this Tennessee program. What have you seen from him so far? Yeah, I would happy with that. You know, he works really hard. You know, like I said earlier, he's a really smart kid. Um, you know, and I know he came from a good program, worked extremely hard as well. So, um, no, he fits our culture. You know, like I said, all the kids love him. You know, we got a lot of competition in that room, but you would never know. You know, those guys are all buddies. They all hang out. And, you know, that's refreshing as a coach because we want guys to compete at a high level. We want guys to, you know, want to be the first one off the bus, so to speak. But at the same time, we want, we want to have that brotherhood where everybody moves for each other. Like, he fits that mold. You know, he's a, he's a, he's a heck of a worker. And, um, you know, the kids love him. Ben and Ryan. Jim, with Christian Charles, he was the guy that started as a freshman and then injuries have kind of gotten in the way the last couple of years. Well, where do you see Christian right now in, in the secondary? And do you anticipate him being a factor back there? Yeah, he's kind of an X factor. I'm glad you asked that question. You know, he's, he's just had what you may consider just some really bad luck, you know, since he's been here. But, you know, he's never had a bad day. He keeps his head up. He works. You know, he's always been a kid. He's really smart and versatile. You know, watching the tape. He has a couple of opponents, and I forgot he played corner for us. So, you know, we got him at safety right now. I think he can play, you know, any three of those spots. You know, we mentioned the start position and being able to cover, being able to, you know, be physical and tough, and he fits that um, narrative as well. But um, he's definitely going to start off on the half run right now. You know, like I said, we have a great room. You know, guys are competing. You know, I don't think anybody feels like they've won a job to this point, and, you know, he'll have just as much of the right to earn a job as anybody. So we're excited for him. You know, not going to you know, he'll stay healthy this year, and he'll be able to reach his full potential as well. How do you feel about your depth at the leader's position and, and with all the depth you do have up front, is there any way to be, you know, be able to get those guys on the field together in some packages or anything like that? Yeah, I feel really good about our Leos. You know, Josh Joseph, you know, he's you know rotated in with James a ton last year. Um, you know, Josh, you know, I think some people forget he started when I started. He played a ton as a true freshman. Um, you know, had a, a solid year last year. You know, I think he'll be the first one to tell you, you know, he knows there's still meat on the bone. So, you know, we're excited about him. We mentioned Jordan already. Um, you know, that, that, that room, honestly, is really deep. You know, there'll be some situations where we'll be able to get both of them on the field, no different than what we did um, last year and the year before that. But, you know, I think the competition in that room will continue to push greatness. I think it'll give, you know, James a chance to continue to grow, you know, as Josh is with him. And obviously, we mentioned Jordan. So, we, we just got a lot of guys, you know. I think, um, you know, as we continue to grow with those guys and, and work through it, you know, I think even um, Caleb Heron, you know, was the guy that did a lot of really good things in the spring as well. You know, we're anxious to see, you know, his development. You know, he did play a little bit for us as a freshman last year. So, you know, it's obviously the deepest position we've had, excuse me, the deepest Leo position we've had since we've been here. And, and it needs to be. You know, we asked a lot of those guys, no, no different when I asked about the start. You know, we asked those guys to be great, you know, coming off the edge. Those guys have to be able to drop, you know, play man in certain situations. So. We think we got the guys to do it. You know, we're expecting a lot of great production out of that room. Last two questions, Wes and Dave. So obviously, with all that competition back there in the secondary, I hear, with all that, that you know, competition back in the secondary, is it comforting to know that there's such a kind of a deep group of wide receivers on this team, the different kinds of receivers that can push those guys and give those guys different tests? Yeah, you know, iron definitely sharp as iron. You know, I think, you know, our guys recognize that in the recruiting process. You know, we know we'll have, you know, tremendous receivers year in and year out. You know, we feel like we're building it back in the same way. So the more those guys can challenge each other in practice, um, the, the better it will be for us in the long run. You know, it's a league that has a ton of great wide receivers. And the fact that we get, get a chance to go against some great ones in practice only helps us.
I see. Like, <clears throat> do, you, do you see playing tone or something at the outside of primarily as he or inside back? What one tone or something? Tell him to do you, you see. T Lane. T Lane, yes, excuse me. Playing him some outside or is he primarily a right back? Yeah, I mean, that's yet to be determined. I think right now, you know, he's playing inside for us. You know, depending on the call within our team, you know, sometimes our linebacker can be playing on edges. So um, I think he's showing the versatility and the spring um, that we have great confidence we can, but I think we'll find out more, you know, obviously as we get in this fall practice. All right. Thank you, Coach. Thank you, guys.